Following the advent of COVID-19 in the year 2020, Duncan Shear, then 21 years old, was laid off from his chef job in Yeri. He returned to Nairobi and fell back on his hobby of making items out of cardboards, if only to keep himself busy. Little did he know he would end up relying on the same for upkeep. Our reporter Farah Yusuf visited Duncan's fine art studio two years later and filed the following report. Kasarani area in Nairobi County. We find Duncan in his business premises, the Fine Arts Studios. The creative entrepreneur is working on a client's piece of 3D art that is in its initial stages. He then walks me through this entrepreneurial journey that started after he was laid off from his chef's job following the advent of COVID-19. From uh, 2021 last year, August, I decided to like let me do art fully. Until now, I'm doing it full time. The 23-year-old ventured into home art, 3D art, school art, and branding and making of advertising materials, all from carton boxes using a special knife, pen, and spraying paint. Today, however, Duncan is doing a piece for the young and industrious show. After you have the image, you have to create a template, just a drawing out of it. He walks me through what it entails before coming up with the final piece. After you have the image, you have to at least sketch something out. Uh, and I call it a template, so create a template out of it. The second process is transferring the template on, onto a cardboard. For a complicated piece of art, I'll have to, to to pierce each and every part of the, of the of the art I want to transfer onto the cardboard. Just because I drill the points, so I'll just I'll just draw them through, kidogo them. I'll cut it later. So this is almost the final product. These are the pieces that I cut out. These are the boxes. This is the person. So uh, the rest of the piece, I remove the top layer just to reveal the corrugated piece of art. So we're going to again create uh, different pieces of art and fill them through. At least in a time. So this is just how you do it. And that's it. Thought that the piece is now ready. You could precise so we can shake up again to I For images, a client send a picture and then he creates vectors from his laptop. They are transferred to a template and then placed on a carton box for careful cutting and crafting. Two years into the business, Duncan says he is now able to fend for himself. Through recycling the carton boxes he gets from a local shopping mall, she says he helps reduce pollution. The art, because it's a completely new form of art, so on a daily basis I learn something new out of it and uh, I think that's my drive, just bringing the most out of myself. Challenges are part of the art. Convincing someone to accept your pieces as good as the other pieces has been my biggest challenge currently. There is a laser cutting machine which is uh, which makes work so easy when it, uh, for artists actually who needs uh, precision cutting. So a laser machine will do. It will be of so much benefit when I have such a machine actually. Duncan hopes to venture into more challenging pieces of corrugated artwork. I'm looking for investor who can invest uh, obviously it's economically to, to get money but to again preserve the environment for a later a, a later generation the young entrepreneur hopes that corrugated artwork will be a more acceptable form of art in the market even as he looks to expand his business in the days to come he's so far reporting for young and industrious from the fine art studios in kasarani nairobi county